So here we are at a Gen 24, and I'm going to run you through uh, reconnecting the inverter to your Wi-Fi, which you may need to do if you change your password or in the event that you need to change your modem. Um, first thing first is to activate the access point on the inverter, which will allow us to communicate directly with it. We just press this sensor in between the two lights, and you'll notice the blue light on the right-hand side will start to flash. Then we can go to our iPad or smart device um, and there'll be a signal that we can connect to. Let's go do that. Okay, once we've activated our access point at the inverter, go to your smart device uh, and we want to look for the available Wi-Fi signal. So go to your settings. In networks, you'll see one that starts with Fronius. Hit on that. The password will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hit enter. Once that's connected, there we go, we want to open up a web browser and in the address bar, we will type in 192.168.250.181, hit enter. This will take us to our inverter interface. Once we're there, we want to go to the silhouette of the person, go to user login, and login as a customer. If you're a um, KDEC install, the password will be customer01 with a capital C. When we've hit that, uh, we're looking for three horizontal lines. Um, on a smart device, they're often on the left hand side or at the top of the top right of the screen. Um, once that opens, we'll see these options. Go to communications, network, click on your Wi-Fi um, and look for your home Wi-Fi signal. When you find it, click on it and we want to enter the password. You can always view the password by pressing the I over to the right-hand side. It's a good idea just to really check that what you've entered is correct. Once you've done that, hit enter. And you will get this screen to show that it's uh, trying to connect. Let's go back. Um, and. We'll go back into communication and network again, and we have a Wi-Fi connection. It may take a little while, but we'll see um, after a couple of minutes that this access to solar web will tick and it will get a connection. That's when you'll be able to see your system online again. Um, if it's been offline for quite a while, it can take some time for the data to upload, but within a short while, you should be able to see your monitoring again and be connected.